Hey everyone and welcome to Crash Course Databases. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of databases, those digital storehouses that power our online lives. From social media feeds to online shopping carts, databases are working behind the scenes to store, organize and retrieve vast amounts of information. Imagine a library, but instead of books, it holds every piece of data imaginable. Customer details, product inventories, financial transactions and much more. But databases aren't just about storage, they're also about relationships. They allow us to connect different pieces of information, revealing insights and patterns that would otherwise remain hidden. Whether you're building a social network, an online store or a complex enterprise system, understanding databases is crucial for success. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into a specific type of database, SQL databases. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and it's the language we use to communicate with these databases. Think of it as the secret code that unlocks the power of data manipulation. SQL databases are all about structure. They organize data into tables, which are like spreadsheets with rows and columns. Each row represents a single record, while each column represents a specific attribute. For example, a customer's table might have columns for customer ID, name, email and address. A schema is like a blueprint that outlines the tables, columns and data types for our database. Creating a well-designed schema is crucial for data integrity and performance. With our database schema in place, we can start interacting with our data using SQL queries. These queries are like instructions that tell the database what information we want to retrieve, modify or delete. Let's look at some basic SQL commands. Select. This command retrieves data from the database. Insert. This command adds new data into the database. Update. This command modifies existing data in the database. Delete. This command removes data from the database. These are just a few basic SQL commands, but they form the foundation for more complex queries and data manipulations. By mastering these commands, we can start to unlock the true power of SQL databases. One of the key advantages of SQL databases is their ability to represent relationships between different tables. This allows us to model real-world entities and their connections in a structured and efficient way. There are three main types of relationships in SQL databases. One to one, one, one. Each record in one table is related to only one record in another table. One to many, one M. Each record in one table can be related to multiple records in another table, many to many, MN. Each record in one table can be related to multiple records in another table and vice versa. By carefully defining the connections between our tables, we can ensure that our data is consistent and meaningful. Section 5, NoSQL Databases, a different approach to data. While SQL databases have long been the go-to solution for data storage and management, a new breed of databases has emerged in recent years. NoSQL Databases, NoSQL, which stands for not only SQL, encompasses a wide range of database technologies that offer a different approach to data modeling and storage. Unlike SQL databases, which rely on rigid schemas and tables, no SQL databases provide more flexibility and scalability. They can handle unstructured and semi-structured data, making them well suited for modern applications that deal with large volumes of diverse data. No SQL databases come in various flavors, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Some popular types of no SQL databases include document databases. These databases store data in JSON-like documents, offering a flexible and schemaless approach to data modeling. Key value stores. These databases store data as key value pairs, providing high performance and scalability for simple data models. Section 6. MongoDB, a deep dive into collections and documents. Now let's take a closer look at one of the most popular NoSQL databases, MongoDB. MongoDB is a document database that stores data in flexible JSON-like documents called BSON, which stands for Binary JSON. These documents can have varying fields, making them ideal for handling evolving data schemas. In MongoDB, data is organized into collections. Collections are analogous to tables in SQL databases, but without the rigid schema requirements. Each collection can contain multiple documents, and each document can have a different structure, 
For example, the, uh, imagine we're building an e-commerce application. We could have a products collection to store information about our products. MongoDB's document-based approach offers several advantages. Flexibility, scalability, and performance. Section 7, Designing NoSQL Databases, Flexibility and Scalability. Designing a NoSQL database, particularly a document database like MongoDB, requires a different mindset than designing a traditional SQL database. While SQL databases emphasize upfront schema design and data normalization, NoSQL databases prioritize flexibility, scalability, and performance. Here are some key considerations for designing NoSQL databases. Data model. Instead of focusing on tables and relationships, we think in terms of documents and their embedded structures. Data access patterns. We need to carefully analyze how our application will access and query the data. Data consistency. No SQL databases often relax consistency guarantees to achieve higher availability and scalability. Scaling and distribution. No SQL databases are designed to scale horizontally by distributing data across multiple servers. Designing NoSQL databases is an iterative process that involves understanding the application's requirements and continuously optimizing for performance and scalability. Section 8 SQL versus NoSQL choosing the right tool for the job. With both SQL and NoSQL databases offering unique advantages, choosing the right database for a particular project can be a tough decision. There's no one-size-fits-all answer as the best choice depends on the specific requirements of the application. SQL databases are a great fit for applications that require strong data consistency. They also excel in handling complex transactions involving multiple operations. No SQL databases, on the other hand, are a better choice for applications that prioritize flexibility and scalability. They are designed for high availability, ensuring that data is accessible even in the event of server failures. Ultimately, the best approach is to carefully evaluate the specific needs of the application and choose the database that best aligns with those requirements. Section 9. The Future of Data. Trends and Predictions. The world of databases is constantly evolving with new technologies and trends emerging all the time. Here are a few key trends shaping the future of data cloud databases. Cloud computing has revolutionized the way we store and manage data, with cloud databases offering scalability, flexibility, and cost effectiveness. Big data analytics. The explosion of data has led to a surge in demand for big data analytics tools and technologies. Artificial intelligence and machine learning, AI and ML are transforming various industries. And databases are playing a crucial role in storing, processing and analyzing the vast amounts of data required for these technologies. These trends highlight the growing importance of data in today's digital landscape and the evolving role of databases in managing and leveraging this valuable asset. Section 10. Resources for further exploration. If you're eager to delve deeper into the world of databases, here are some excellent resources to continue your learning journey. Online courses. Platforms like Coursera, Udemy and EDX offer a wide range of database courses from beginner-friendly introductions to advanced topics, books. Numerous books cover various aspects of database design, management and administration. Documentation or official documentation for popular database systems like MISQL, POST, GRESQL and MongoDB provides comprehensive information on features, syntax and best practices. Online communities. Engaging with online communities like Stack Overflow, Reddit and database-specific forums can provide valuable insights, support and networking opportunities. Practice. The best way to learn databases is by doing. Set up a local database server, experiment with different queries, and build small projects to solidify your understanding. Section 11. Conclusion Mastering Data for Web Development Success. In the ever-evolving landscape of web development, mastering databases is no longer optional, it's essential. From the structured world of SQL databases to the flexible realm of NoSQL databases, we've explored the fundamental concepts, techniques and tools that empower developers to harness the power of data. By embracing the principles of database design, mastering query languages and staying abreast of emerging trends, 
you'll be well equipped to navigate the exciting and ever-changing world of data-driven web development. So dive in, explore, and unlock the limitless possibilities that data has to offer.